Okay, good afternoon and assalamu alaikum. This is Mimi. Welcome to another episode of Quick and Easy Cooking with Mimi, featuring the world's best super kitchen machine, the Thermomix. Okay, today was another hectic day. Alhamdulillah, a lot of Thermomixes went out. Stocks are running super low, so if you want one, let me know quickly so I can get it out for you. I only have two units left, okay? And after that, you have to wait like two weeks. Today, we are going to cook two things. I'm going to do curry chicken from the 7 Days Perfection recipe, which you will get with every purchase. And I'll show you the latest one. With every Thermomix purchase, you're going to get this uh, PDF form of this perfection with, with Thermomix in 7 days. So if you try these recipes when you're new to Thermomix, it will help you a lot because it will go through all of the functions and then you, don't, you go from simple to more uh, advanced and then you will cover all of the basic functions. So you do stuff like day one, you cook rice, you cook eggs, you cook some chicken, and then maybe you want to jump and you want to do some porridge, you want to do some brownies, you want to do some oil-free chicken wings. It's all in here. We have how many recipes here? 321. Yeah, about 21 recipes in this thing. And if you wish to have a printed copy, it costs 10 ringgit only. But I think you have to wait until after the MCO, Movement Control Order, and ask your advisor about it. Okay? So from this recipe, we're going to do, from, from this um, recipe booklet, we're going to do the curry chicken recipe. And then, while the chicken is cooking, and you know me, I'm like, I don't know what to sit there anymore. I think I've told you everything. I want to treat her already. Treat her the So, banyak <laughs> cerita. So, I'm going to do lemon poppy seed cake, which is a recipe from the Malaysian recipe community. And uh, it's by my friend Ivy, who is also a Thermomix advisor like me. Okay. Hi, Sharifa. Assalamualaikum. Linda, Mua, macam mana? I hope you're all okay because now Mua is um, red zone, right? Keep safe, people. Stay at home. Let's get started. Okay, so, oh yeah. I will do my thing here and then I'll explain what Thermomix is for those who are new. So we've got our ingredients in here. Now this is the nice thing about Thermomix. If you are new, you don't have to memorize the recipes, you just follow. So we have here the whole chicken. I need to grab it from the fridge. Hang on. So I had my chicken marinating together with... Um, I marinated this with 20 grams of curry powder and 2 teaspoons of salt. And then for the chili paste, we have our dried chilies which I soaked and then I will throw away the water now. You can remove the seeds, you don't have to, up to you. This is about 15 to 20 dried chilies. And then we have, um, see when, you, when I put everything in one bowl, you know what this means. I'm just going to dump everything into the bowl and, and, and blend them, okay? So we have here garlic cloves and shallots and candle nuts, turmeric, uh, galangal, and then we're going to use a bit of vegetable oil and water. So again, galangal is notoriously hard. You don't have to chop it to small pieces. As long as it's small enough to go through the, the hole of the mixing bowl lid, like this, then you don't have to slice it any smaller. Same thing with my shallots. No need to slice. My uh, candle nuts, guacaras, same story. Also, the turmeric, which I don't want to hold because I don't want my fingers to turn yellow. Okay, and if your, your bowl turns yellow after this, don't worry about it. You just put it under the sun and it will return back to its original color. Okay, so now we just, uh, we've marinated the chicken. Now it's just a simple matter of getting rid of the water of my, of my dried chilies. I've been soaking it earlier while my sons were prepping me. Three of my sons helped me today. Thank you, boys. You know who you are. So I've got my chili in here. So it says, place the dried chilies. Oh, yeah, I'll show you the bowl. My bowl is empty. And I'm going to dump my dried chilies. And then everything else. Everything else, dump in here as well. Don't you just love that? 
And this recipe is so nice. You should try it. Even if you never made curry before, I did this for somebody. Uh, Chinese, uh, she's a Chinese, um, traditional Chinese medicine practitioner. I go to her a lot. Yes, I do acupuncture. And she wanted to try to make curry and she followed this and she loved it. Okay. And then, okay, we need uh, 60 grams of vegetable oil. And for this, I'm going to activate our weighing scale. I've got my vegetable oil in here. Vegetable oil, Malaysia by default would be palm oil. Philippines would be coconut oil, whatever you have. But uh, for this, for curry, um, extra virgin olive oil won't taste as good. So better you go with coconut or light olive oil or palm oil or coconut you know, it's, um it's more suitable the taste, okay? So for this, we want 60 grams. Just double checking, yes, 60 grams. Okay, lebih sikit, 2 gram, tak pula. Waalaikumsalam, Alhamdulillah, Masya Allah. Sister Mariana, welcome. Oh, hari ni dapat tengok eh. Hi, Mariam. Okay, and then 20 grams of water. That's so little. So we reset it to by tapping on tear. My hands are wet. Okay, and we want 20 grams of water. This is like the easiest curry in the world. And if you don't want to do all of these uh, blending things, you can also have a, you have the option of uh, using one of the curry paste recipes in the latest collection, which is called Asian Flavor Mixes. It's under Singapore and Malaysia. So you can make you can make your curry paste in advance, and then you just go straight ahead to to step number three or number four. Okay. So now, uh, first step one was of course to marinate the chicken. And step two, we place everything in, we add the water, we add the oil, and we're going to grind this for only 20 seconds on speed 10. So we tap on the X, okay, plant, move to the side, thank you. And then we go home, that is home, those three circles. We want 20 seconds. Yeah, with the thermomix, we play play with seconds on the speed 10. Still taste good, okay? So I'm just gonna get the leaves. 
You only get the leaves, right? the stock you don't put in. Okay, the stock no need, just the leaves. There we go. And then, oh my goodness, it smells so good. It's like, it's curry, but it's like a slightly citrusy scent. And then we saute this for eight minutes, 120 C speed one. Of course, any saute is always um, 120 speed one. Eight minutes because there's a bit of, um, it's quite a lot of spices. So while we do that, I'm gonna prep my cake. Eight minutes, 120, speed one. Okay, double check. Yes, lemongrass and curry leaves, eight minutes, 120, speed one. And then after this, we're gonna add our chicken, our potatoes. So the potatoes, we want two potatoes cut into small wedges. Small wedges, and then of course we don't want the potatoes to oxidize, so we put them in a bit of water. And then we have the potatoes, and then we're gonna add a bit of water. I just put my water in here, and then we will need some coconut milk later, coconut milk and sugar. And I'm gonna tweak this a bit my way because I like to add tomatoes to mine. So I'm gonna add some ripe tomatoes later because the tomatoes will crush, so I will add that towards the end. Okay, and that's it. So easy. I can leave this. Eight minutes. We start with our lemon poppy seed cake. Okay. As you have seen, if you have seen my previous uh, episodes, uh, baking, anything involving baking is always super fast. So I always say, reheat your oven and prepare your, prepare your baking tin. Okay, for this baking tin, for this recipe, um, it's called lemon poppy seed cake, obviously, by IVR. I'm going to share the link with you later. And uh, the recipe specifically says prepare a 10 cup bun pan. Okay? So the way to do it, bun pan is one of these uh, lovely things. They come in different patterns. And you will actually see an indication. Maybe don't, you don't see it, but it will indicate here how many cups. So this one, this is called um, Heritage Bun by Nordic Wear US. And it's for 10 cups or 2.4 liters. So the recipe mentions this, but I have done this in the past and I noticed that it will take quite a long time to bake and you know me, always impatient and very practical and voila, I have this and I, I experimented and I realized that I could use this instead, I forgot what it's called, it's a Nordic Wear Bun Quartet. It's for 9 cups, but um, that means... I can do four of these instead of one big one. And it's so pretty because you're gonna get these different designs later. Okay, so I'm actually gonna use this. And the thing with bun pans is that you have to grease it really, 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 really well, okay? And we're gonna do that now while waiting for our, our, whatchamacallit, our curry to, to saute, I'm going to lift my thermomix and move it aside so I have some space. I put this here so I have some space and you can see me do my, my greasing. So up to you what you want to use for greasing. Different people, different style. Just make sure you get into every nook and cranny. I forgot to wear an apron today but never mind. You know me already. I just feel a bit... Um, it's fine with a Thermomix. You can wear your finest dress and not have to worry about, about it getting so spoiled. Okay. The other day I saw some other advisors, they were actually putting on evening wear. And that's the fun part about cooking with a Thermomix. Because there's no mess. I'm cooking here curry, you know. If you do it the traditional way, you will have to chop, blend, pound, and uh, I don't know. Malay, Malay dish, I, I find Malay cooking, to be honest, Malay cooking to be very, very, uh, it's quite tedious if you, if you think about it the traditional way because there are so many ingredients and the preparation time can be a bit daunting. Banyak benda kan ada. The shallots, the ginger, the lengkuas. Hmm, no, it smells so nice. And then the chili la, you know, it's, and then uh, how long to blend, you know, it's, it's hard, especially if you've never done before. But with a Thermomix, you can do it immediately. So easy, just follow the instructions. 
Step next, 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 and you're done before you realize it. Okay. So I've, I've greased two, and now I'm going to grease two more. Some sites would even tell you to grease and flour, which is what I'm doing. I premix my... my grease and flour and because these bunk pans are very very intricate this is like one of these is like the three drill one is the classic I forgot what it's called and then I have the fleur de lis and I have some floral thing I love bunk pans but they're not cheap this one I got as a birthday present from my friend I have a friend since we were seven years old and she's a doctor now in New York actually in Connecticut and she sent it to me one day as a birthday present all the way from us i was so happy i guess because this particular model is quite hard to come by in in, in malaysia and for certain things like bun pan i would actually invest in in the original which is nordic wear because it's been around for so long it is a very good track record same thing as the thermomix it's a very good track record the company has been around since 1883 and Thermomix itself has been around for more than 60 years. So, you know, you get a lot of comfort and uh, peace of mind knowing you come from a very solid company that anything happens, you, you can fall back on them, you know you can rely on them. I mean, if they're no good, they won't last that long, right? Because a lot of these things that you, you always see all these um, pop-up stands in supermarkets that they sell all sorts of cheap items, but then and then they say, oh, it's got a warranty of one year, but then you try to look for them after that, you can't even find the office, and you can't even find spare parts, and you end up just throwing the whole thing away just because you lack one rubber seal or one, one screw or one cover. It's quite sad. So, see, sometimes we have to, for, for, for the good things in life, we have to invest a little bit. And in fact, I, I, uh, for, for people who have been around <coughs> A bit longer like me as you know they don't make things like they used to it used to be that our stuff our mother's stuff and grandmother's stuff they used to last for many many years but these days it's cheaper to just buy a new one like washing machines and refrigerators they don't last as long as it used to but certain things like the thermomix uh, recently I posted on Facebook there is one item it's been around for like 25 years and still working my goodness and they are in uh, catering or restaurant business okay so now I've greased that I'm gonna do the recipe and the recipe calls for very simple ingredients it's got unsalted butter of course you leave it to room temperature I'll show you the recipe later so we have butter sugar eggs vanilla extract lemon juice vegetable oil vegetable oil sour cream I don't have sour cream so I made my own buttermilk by mixing fresh milk with a bit of um, white vinegar and then uh, dry ingredients is all-purpose flour don't you just love cakes that use all-purpose flour baking powder baking soda salt blue poppy seed and zest okay so that part you can see later I'll share the recipe the important thing now is I'm going to show you how to work with the zest okay I know for zesting, there are many ways of doing it. You can use your grater, you can have those uh, uh, planer what, thingamajigs, whatever. Okay? For me, oh, wow, belum habis cakap je dah ni dah. I'll get back to the zest part because this one, after this, we're just going to dump the rest of the ingredients. Chicken, potatoes, and water, and we'll cook it for 12 minutes. Okay? Hang on. Computer, tunggu sekejap. So again, this one, you open it. And then you flip it so that it doesn't touch, it doesn't touch your 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 counter. And then if you have some wayward uh, things here, you just wipe a bit. Sayang dia. If you take care of it, it will last a long time. Same thing like, like expensive cars or handbags or whatever. You take care of it, and then it will last a long time. So we're gonna add now our our chicken, the pulle, polio whatever you want to call it. Oh, Tagalog is manok. And I heard in Sabah is the same thing or is manok chicken in Sabah? I forgot. Kalia, if you're watching, manok in Sabah, is it chicken or is it uh, bird? I know there's something similar, but that's a uh, Filipino word for the chicken is manok. And then we're, we're going to add our potatoes. 
We don't use the water that's used to soak it. Okay. Senang gila. And then we need 100 grams of water. So again, we activate our weighing scale. I grab my drinking water. I want 100 grams. Again, as much as possible, jangan guna ayam proses ya. Sebab kalau ayam proses dia, it will release a lot of water and uh, dia senang hancur. And for this one, it asks for whole chicken legs or if you don't have whole chicken legs, you can use thigh or um, wings or drumstick. Okay, and then saute, no not saute. Now we're going to cook it for 12 minutes. Varoma reverse speed spoon, okay? So to do that, let me move it first. To do that, we we close our weighing scale, and then we swipe to the home button. We want it 12 minutes. We always start from the left to the right. 12 minutes, Varoma, because it wants to reduce some of the liquid. And then you, you either tap on the screen or you use the selector button to go to the speed. But before you turn on the speed, if it indicates reverse, very important, Turn reverse function on first and that's very easy you just tap on this blade icon and you will see a green like a reverse arrow that is reverse and then we're gonna do spoon spoon is the first one on the speed button the speed goes from spoon to 0.5 to 1 all the way to speed 10 okay so we can leave this for 12 minutes while I continue with my cake and for the cake, I'm going to refer back to my computer. Okay. So we have greased our pan. We have greased our pan. And then we have uh, preheated our oven to 180 C. And the step in, in the recipe, in the recipe community, it actually says to, to mix the butter and sugar until light and fluffy. But because um, we have lemon zest, I'm actually going to process this with the sugar first. So, you see my, instead of um, using a microplaner or a grater or whatever, I use a normal, you know that um, potato peeler thing? Okay, so I peeled, I peeled off the skin of the lemon. So it looks something like this. It's very thin, just the skin. You don't get the white part because the white part will be, will be very bitter. So we just do this. And then I'm going to blend this with my sugar. That's how I'm going to turn this into zest. So, this is my bowl. I'm going to dump everything in as usual. And I'm going to put my sugar in. Not all, about 100 grams. Because I have the sugar in here. So, I'm going to put about 100 grams. Just to blend it with, uh, with my zest for about... A minute on speed 10. Let's see what happened. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Look at this. So now I have lemon infused uh, sugar. So the lemon zest is now mixed beautifully with the sugar. And then I'm just going to dump the rest of the sugar together with the butter. Yep, all of the butter. I'm going to get a fresh spatula, clean spatula here. Put all of the butter in. Uh, this one it says uh, to room temperature. So butter and then the rest of the sugar. Sugar. I 
And then we just follow, it says here, two minutes on speed three. So this is how it looks like now. Two minutes on speed three. Again, by default, we have to put the measuring cup. Okay. So this one, we are cooking our curry now. It's eight minutes to go. Uh, when this is done, we're gonna add our coconut milk and our uh, a bit of sugar, and I'm gonna add the tomato. Personal preference is not in the recipe. And then meanwhile, we are mixing here our this part in uh, normal normal cookbooks they would call it cream, the butter, and sugar. And if you don't know how to make cakes, if it's your first time, it will say cream, the butter, and sugar until light and fluffy, which is quite challenging. If you've never made cakes before, you wouldn't know just how pale and just how fluffy. And then you know you beat and beat and beat and then at some point it looks like it's curdled and you, you realize you overbeat it, okay? But the Thermomix, it takes all of the guesswork out of the equation. You just follow all of the of all of the steps and then it's perfect, okay? And then uh, after this we're gonna add the eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna add the eggs next. So I'm gonna break the eggs now one by one as usual. So I've got four eggs here. It's one egg. Two. breaking them into an individual bowl one by one is because we don't want to spoil the rest of our ingredients with any bad egg just in case we get one okay so now our butter is done i'm just gonna give my hands a quick wash because i handled the raw egg merci beaucoup oh beautiful okay so it looks like this there's a bit of butter on the side it's fine i'm just gonna scrape it so nice and pale and fluffy. Okay, to me. And then it says to add the eggs and mix it for 10 seconds. So we dump in the eggs. on speed three. Okay, so it says now to add the rest of the wet ingredients which would be Oh, we need the vanilla extract. Remember, we made this a few days ago, so I'm gonna use this. Vanilla extract is uh, two, two teaspoons. Beautiful, it smells so good. You should make this. Okay, two teaspoons. Real vanilla. One, two. And then I have 75 grams of lemon juice. It's about two lemons. It's it's quite uh, it's quite handy because um, you use the zest of those two lemons and then you get the juice. <laughs> Okay, so we have the lemon juice and then we're going to add 50 grams of vegetable oil. Again, use a neutral oil. Okay, 50 
50 grams and then we need our it says it's sour cream but I'm making I use buttermilk so it doesn't show that much but it actually curdled okay if you don't have buttermilk you can use like half yogurt half half milk this is quite a forgiving recipe okay and then after that we're gonna mix it for 15 seconds and speed three the beauty of a Thermomix recipe, anyone who's never baked can easily bake. 15 seconds, speed 3. And you know, if you're new, you just double check the steps, no problem. Even I have been using it for more than 2 years, I still double check. We're human, we make mistakes, no problem. Okay, no need to stress. Meanwhile, this is uh, 2 minutes, 30 sec 36 seconds to go. I'm going to open my coconut milk now. I'm just going to use a knife. I cannot find my my oh and look at this it says add all the dry ingredients and mix so I'm just gonna dump everything in now I have my all-purpose flour I have my baking soda baking powder salt and then I have my poppy seeds blue poppy seeds Okay, so just dump everything in. This is how the liquid ingredients look like. At this stage, you're following a thermomix recipe, you just follow. But again, this is, uh, you have to remember that the recipes in the user community are submitted by users. So you should ask your, your advisor which ones would they recommend because some of these uh, some of these recipes actually do not follow uh, safety guidelines, especially those recipes that use Varoma for long, for extended periods of time. Please don't use those. So it looks like this now. And we're just going to mix it for 10 seconds and speed 4. combined to add another five seconds so I'm just gonna take a peek and for me this is good enough okay for cake it doesn't have to be like perfectly smooth because sometimes it will um, actually work against you if you make it perfectly smooth and your cake will not rise just as nicely okay so this one I'm just gonna set it aside because I want to pour my batter in here oh but this was almost done I think I'm gonna wait for this before I do the pouring so I'm just gonna scrape down just a bit. There's just a teeny weeny bit of uh, flour and sugar that was not mixed. It's fine. I will not mix it any longer. So here you can take a peek. Okay. So I will not do this first. I'll proceed with uh, this one first because this part, we, let's see. The next step is simply to add the coconut milk and the sugar and to cook it for two minutes, Varoma reverse speed spoon. Okay, so we have the coconut milk. And then it also has tips. It says if you want more gravy, then you you use 400, 400, two, two boxes instead of one. So this is uh, 200 grams, so you make it 400 if you want a lot of flour. But as it is now, it's like up to the two liter mark already. I'm fine with it already because I use two large potatoes. Again, always bear in mind you should not exceed the maximum line. And if um, your advisor should have advised you during the unboxing process where it is so that you know how how you should uh, cook okay so I've got my sugar in here this is just to balance off the balance off the, the, the heat from the chilies and then I just want it to be a bit uh, masam skit you know masam skit, manis skit, uh, pedas skit and then lemak skit so kita masukkan kita punya tomato Partly because I like the tomato, partly because I want to finish it off because it's turning 
extra ripe. Two minutes. Oh, you want to take a look before I start? So it looks like this. It's so full, okay? I actually used a lot of chicken. It's about 800 grams of chicken thighs. So two minutes. I know, it's enough. Don't worry. You will think normally, eh? Do I mean to cook? To cook. Jangan risau, okay? Varoma, and then reverse, and then speed spoon. That's it. Super easy. And this one is almost done. Can you see it in my screen? Okay, baking tin over here. And then I'm gonna lift. Remember, you should not push or pull your thermomix. You should always lift it to move it to the side because it's got its weighing scale sensors at the bottom and you don't want to compromise that. Okay, so now it's just a matter of pouring. So much. The cleaning was so easy. The free clean can. We all like the free clean function. Okay? So I'm just distributing this evenly so that when they cook, they will cook evenly. If you put too much in one and not enough on the other, then it will not cook evenly. And then another tip when you are making uh, cakes with bun pans, you pull the batter to the sides and to the center. I don't know if you can see it, but you don't make it flat, but rather you pull the batter to the sides and towards the center. When you're making it, it will make sense. So you pull it. Because somehow it will make the, the rising of the batter more uniform. Okay. And then later on when this is done, this will actually like um, expand and become big and you can easily just trim off the edges uh, my friend uh, Kara, she's also an advisor, she's in my team she's also a baker, uh, her IG name is uh, Le Fleur Bakes she, when she does this, she would even um, the, the tin, make it fall so that there will be no air bubbles Okay, and then you pull it to the middle and to the sides because the, the bunk pan, it has um, that's this raised uh, thing in the middle. So it's, it cooks more evenly. So you have heat from the sides and you also have heat from the middle. So I'm just, I will show this to you shortly when I use the, I'll show you the heritage bunk pan so that you understand better. And again, if we want to scrape out all of the, uh, as much of the batter as we want, we scrape it off first and anything left around the blades we will do 2 seconds speed 10 because this all of this lovely stuff it would be a waste not to scrape it all. Okay, so you have a bit here, I'm going to do 2 seconds speed 10. batter has moved to the sides of the bowl so it's easier to scrape up and then we check which one has the least amount of batter and we put it in there I just love the PM6 spatula because it's rigid but at the same time the tip is flexible enough wonderful it smells wonderful and it tastes wonderful also old habit from when I was, since I was small and helping my mom with her chiffon cakes, I was always there to assist in licking the bowl. And some people, they're horrified, they say, you know, you might get food poisoning, whatever. But I'm telling you, bakers always use fresh eggs, so if your eggs are fresh, so far, alhamdulillah, uh, I never got sick tasting my batter. 
sometimes it, it makes sense to, ta to taste your batter because we are humans, we forget, sometimes we actually forget stuff like sugar. Mm, stop. Mm. Very nice. So this is how our batter looks like. I don't know if you can see it. Is it clear now that um, I pull I pull the um, the batter a bit to the center and to the sides, and this will go into the oven. And because it's actually a smaller pan, it will cook less than an hour. Oh, I'm gonna get the container for. For the curry. And I'm going to use my thermo server. Now, this thermo server, it's a double walled stainless steel container. Double walled means it can keep the warmth or the cold of the food longer than usual, like your normal plate. So it's like, you know, like a thermos. Thermos you keep for your, you keep your drinks hot or cold. The thermos server, it's seamless, it's beautiful. It keeps your food hot or cold for extended periods of time. And it comes with this uh, very, very handy like a holder so that you don't feel the heat. At the same time, it has a cover so you can serve using the thermos server. And for a limited period, you are eligible to get this with every Thermomix purchase. Very simple, after the MCO, you just call your friends over and then I cook for you and for them. That's it. Then you get your thermos server. It's called four to six friends. Oh, look at our curry. So people ask, banyak ka boleh masak banyak? Okay. Tengok ni, cantik. Woo. So beautiful. Our potatoes are nicely done. The chicken is done. The gravy is very nice and rich. And if you are fasting, so just imagine when you're fasting, you don't even have to taste your food anymore. Because once you've practiced the dishes and then you can tweak it to your own taste, you already know how much or whatever to put in and you don't have to taste it anymore. So you can cook, you can fast, and you don't have to worry. Meanwhile, this one I'm gonna do pre-clean, my favorite um, feature. Just put in water up to one liter. No need for salt. Okay. It's just water, and then activate our pre-clean function. Turn it on. Our lovely curry is done and no mess. I'm not wearing an apron. The only mess is here because I was clumsy and I can easily wipe it off. We always clean as we go. And then the nice thing is if you have a TM5, the TM5 has been updated recently to have the same, the same pre-clean function. Hang on. So now it looks like this, you got all the butter and the, the flour. I'm gonna put water. Again, you put water up to a liter. And then, the latest software update. This is the reason why you need to get a cookie. The cookie looks something like this. Um, ignore the, the sticker because it's uh, something that I bought a long time ago from Germany. And with the cookie, you can connect your TM5 to Cookie Do. You get all the recipes. And at the same time, if you don't want to, to subscribe to Cookie Do, no problem. You will get all of the software updates. So I have updated my machine and now my, my, my old Thermomix also has the pre-clean function right here. So it's so wonderful. I can clean it just like my TM6, just like that. Okay? Merci beaucoup. Et voilà. That's our bowl. I'm just gonna pour out the hot water now. So look at how clean my bowl is. 
Now imagine if you're cooking the traditional way, you're cooking curry, all of that you have to clean, you have to scrub. It's bad enough that you have to saute, and after you saute, you have to clean your stove and everything. Whereas with the Thermomix, you weigh in here, you chop in here, you blend in here, saute with the same machine, cook and boil and everything with the same machine. And the same machine that cooks your curry can also make ice cream, can make drinks, can make cake, can make muffins, nuggets, meatballs, pasta, and so much more. So this is the best investment for every family, especially during this lockdown and even for the years ahead because how much longer can we stand standing in the kitchen? Okay, so this is going to clean up. I'm just waiting for the pre-clean function to be done. I don't think we should wait for the cake because it will take a long time. I'm just going to take a photo and share with you later the results. And for that also, I'm going to share a very simple glaze recipe just using um, icing sugar, which is basically uh, gula kasa, plain old sugar that I'm going to blend until it's fine with the Thermomix. And I'm going to squeeze just a bit of lemon to, to, to melt it, and then I'm just going to pour it on top of the cool cake, okay? Cool cake. You have to wait for the cake to cool a bit, which is a challenge in this household. Okay? <laughs> and then, that's it. You just glaze it and you present it like this. That's the beauty of bun cakes. It already looks very beautiful and doesn't need much work to, to decorate. Okay, I'm just gonna finish the pre-clean so you see how clean my bowl is after making my cake batter. I didn't set anything, it automatically detects how dirty my bowl is. Takes all of the guesswork out of the equation. So wonderful, so smart at heart. So if I were just cooking the curry, just imagine if I were only cooking the curry, I can actually leave it and I can do something else just now. That's why I decided to make the cake on a whim. Okay, it's almost done. It says 11 seconds and I can actually see it's 45 uh, degrees Celsius. So it's heated up the water so it melts all of the butter that was in the bowl earlier. So I don't have to stress about getting rid of it. And it's done. Okay, thank you so much. So it looks like this. I'm just going to pour it out so you can see how clean my bowl is and how little there is to clean afterwards. Wonderful. See, if you've been using a kitchen um, mixer all this while, this would have been a headache. You have to clean your balloon whisk, you have to clean your normal whisk, and then you have to clean the lid and whatnot. But this one, it cleans itself. So you are saving time, you are, you're paying for peace of mind, you're paying for the recipes, and you're paying for the technology that goes beyond it, behind it, and you know that it's been around. Solid, dependable company, and of course, the thing that you can put a price on, my personal service as your advisor. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for your continued support for all the encouragement, all the private messages. I'm so touched to have connected with so many people from around the globe, from Jakarta to Riyadh to Spain to Ireland to Sydney as well and so many other places that I cannot remember right now. And um, thank you also for, for making the Thermomix the world's number one super kitchen machine. Join me again tomorrow at 6 p.m. for another episode of Quick and Easy Cooking with Mimi. Bye-bye. Have a nice evening, everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.